Hello, I'm Roy Taylor and I live in Kansas and I'm excited to tell you about my Kodiak. The Kodiak is more than just a battery. There is a lithium ion battery in this box. There is also a power inverter to convert the power to 110 so you can run regular home appliances. It also has four USB ports so that you can charge your cell phones um, as well as a 30 amp RV plug and I've run my RV off of that. And we're outside of my house right now in order to demonstrate to you that if you're ever out in the middle of nowhere and you want to make coffee and you're where there's no power, you can make coffee with your Kodiak we just made coffee and it uses about 800 watts of power while it's heating the water uh, kind of pulls the battery down a little bit but it's done making the coffee now it dropped down to 13 watts and I've gone back up to 90 percent of my battery it's at 11.8 volts right now almost 11.9 I'm going to go ahead and turn the coffee off because we're done with that part, but uh, I want to take this Kodiak indoors and show you what else I can operate. <coughs> All right, we're back inside now. I'm going to charge my cell phone, plug in my laptop, which is right up here. I've got a 12 volt light that Energy sent me that plugs in right here. Very bright. And I also am going to operate my Frigidaire 5000 watt B or 5000 BTU air conditioner off of the Kodiak. I plug it into one of these 110 outlets. Turn it on, and there we go. Now it's a cool day in Kansas right now. We're at the beginning of fall. Um, it's only drawing 124 watts of power. Um, if it were warmer, then the air conditioner could use maybe four or 500 watts of power, but the Kodiak will provide I think about 1100 watts of power so it's more than enough to power that small air conditioner and all these other devices um, it's really handy I've even used it in a power outage to power my refrigerator overnight full-size refrigerator and uh, it's really handy to have I hope you go get yourself one have a good day